When I rebooted this channel to start reviewing games again, part of what I was trying to accomplish was to play games that I normally hadn't played in my past. I wanted to give new things a try and see how I felt about new mechanics and just things that I had never experienced before. I have to admit that Wind Peaks is the first hidden objects game that I've ever sat down and took seriously and played before. Up until this point, I've seen a lot of hidden objects games, particularly on mobile, where people had high praise of them and were saying that they were completely worth their money, but to me, it just didn't seem like something that I would want to spend my gaming time on or I'd want to spend my money on. After playing Wind Peaks though, I think I finally understand the allure. For anyone out there watching this that has not played a Hidden Objects game, this may seem somewhat obtuse. You see, the primary mechanic in a Hidden Objects game is much like a Where's Waldo, or if you're in the UK, Where's Wally book. Here, you are just given a list of objects and you have to search an interactive picture, at least in the video game case, an interactive picture, for these objects. Upon finding those objects, you have completed the primary objective of the game. Wind Peaks does complicate things a little bit by hiding treasures in different car doors and tent doors and having to look through bushes, but at its core, you are still just looking for items. Oftentimes, you'll find that the items are only partially obstructed by some other item, and you have to look for that small piece of the item you're looking for. You can also replay levels after you've completed them, and the items do find new places, so there is some level of replayability with this game. They've also instituted a hint timer mechanic in this game where if you can't find the item you're looking for, you can start a timer that counts down from either three or five minutes. And once that timer completes, a little indicator pops up on the screen which points you in the direction of the item. Now it doesn't directly unveil the item, but it does give you a good idea of where it's at. Wind Peaks does have a story as well where you are following a troop as they search for a hidden treasure and along the way they cross paths just barely with some very known mythical figures like Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, and also Bigfoot. The story, however, is all non-dialogue. It's all told through pictures, and that can be a good or a bad thing, but for me, it was very enjoyable. I chose to play this game with my kids for very obvious reasons. And in that context, we had a really great time. For a hidden objects game, Wind Peaks has done just about everything right that you can do right. It has a very relaxing soundtrack. The art style is very reminiscent of something like Gravity Falls. The story, even though it's somewhat simplistic, is very easy for people of all ages to follow. And they even manage to put a bit of humor in the game. There is one scene where a kid goes out skinny dipping and in the next level you are looking for his clothes because he's lost them. In the end though, this is a game that is all surface. What you see is what you get. And for a lot of traditional gamers, this might not be your cup of tea. But if you were interested in this game and found this review because you were searching for this game, then I would say you're probably someone that likes hidden object games. And I would imagine that this one rates well in relation to other hidden object games. Yes, it's a little bit short, but it's very charming. It's very endearing. All of the soundtrack and the graphics work just are top notch. I can't see how a hidden objects game could get much better than this. Now, while my family and I did play this on the Switch, this game is also available on Steam for PC, and there is a price difference between the two. This is partly because the PC version has been out for some time, but this is also because Switch games in general are a little bit more money. Currently on Steam, you can pick this up for $9, and that seems to be a non-sale price. For Switch, this game's coming out on March 3rd, and it's going to cost $15. Whether or not that is a good value for you will really have to do with your tastes in gaming and your financial position. Overall, I really enjoyed my time with Wind Peaks, and I think that if you enjoy hidden object games, that you'll enjoy your time with it as well. If you've liked this video, well then like this video. And if you'd like to find out about more great games that just haven't got enough attention, take a look at my channel where I specialize in finding great indie hidden gems. Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time, this has been Pixel.